prior years, $160,000. Uh, Would a good month for hotel motel tax uh, collections after the decline in December, January's collections, you can see at the top of the page are $55,108. That's up 15% over January 2012, $47,000. Next two items, both the uh, rent from CBD and the uh, conference center, uh, those are unchanged. So the, the CBD is an interfund fund transfer between funds, and then the uh, conference center is the additional lodging tax that the city funds is to the tune of $340,000 a year for the program in 2012 allotments. Uh, immediately behind that, we have the space rental fees, uh, pretty much flat again with the previous year at $15,978. Uh, well, last year, just a, just a difference of actually a real few dollars, <laughs> less than $15 difference between this year and last year. We had 25 events uh, this January versus 29 last year. Uh, so obviously a couple of events were larger. Uh, but I will tell people, I'm going to show you a chart next month. We've got more time next month to get in. I'm sure you a little couple of training plans we're keeping track of next month. But uh, the number of events I don't get too hung up on, I mean, because uh, you can have four events. We had four events in the whole month, but they all booked seven days. It took the entire room seven days. That's, that's only four events, but it's still a lot of activity. Uh, I'd much rather uh, track event days. And event days and revenues are the two best barometers of activity. So, uh, the, uh, and matter of fact, for event days, if you look at January uh, compared to last year, we had 25 events, but 38 event days this January. And last January, we had 29 <coughs> events, more events, but only 35 event days. Actually, a uh, fewer number of days, and most of that was due to Publix's, uh, Publix uh, supermarket had a job fair, and they were here for 10 days straight. So only one event for 10 days of activity, so that's why we were actually a little bit busier uh, this month, even though the number of events was down a little bit, we actually had more activity uh, in the facility. Uh, at the bottom of that top section, you look at the food and beverage revenues. Again, it was, it was fairly consistent with last year. Uh, you take all those food and beverage line items together from catering and the, the service charges and alcohol sales and everything all the way down to uh, tablecloth rentals. That's a little over $40,000 last month. Um, that's down less than 2% from January uh, 12, uh, 2012. Again, uh, no, no real big eye openers either way, as it was relatively uh, flat and, and pretty similar to last year. At the bottom of that page, we get into the cost of goods sold section. You see we have food expense there of 11470 I just point that out as a percentage of catering uh, revenue. It's at 30.6% uh, food expense versus uh, catering food revenue. Uh, last year, it compares well to last year as well, which last year was at 40%. So 30.6% versus 40% in January of last year. So that's a uh, that's a, a good improvement. Tim? Yes, sir. Isn't 30% our target? Well, Generally, in, in rough terms, a third, third, third. So, you know, anywhere between 30, 33 percent, we're, we're hitting where we want to hit. So, uh, that's, a, that's a good enough. Uh, moving on down to the bottom of that section, you see a line item called rental equipment expense. And some of you may say, what is that? So, uh, uh, what it is, is uh, when we have a uh, need to rent equipment outside of what we have in our own inventory, we have to go out and rent it. Most of it is usually audiovisual rental, and that month, uh, over, over uh, $2,100 of that was audiovisual rentals uh, from the outside. Uh, we use a company called Event Point. I, I have worked with Event Point since I've been here. And uh, whereas before we were uh, we were in our projectors to the public for $125, theirs were the same price, so we were kind of passing through. I did do a, a, it's, it's a better deal for us since we rent uh, in quantity from him sometimes. Uh, he has agreed to give us a discount, so I, we only pay him $100 for projector. Now, so this will make it $25 per projector if we were from the outside. Uh, but where that where that uh, you see the, the reverse side of that on the uh, revenue side, you go back up to the top uh, section, probably about eight lines down, you see the line item equipment rental fees, uh, the 9,681. So we are recompensed. I mean, that, that's that's real of our equipment in house, plus the stuff that we rented out of house, the customers still being charged for it. So, uh, so that's where that's a, that's where the revenue side of that 3559.